Grace and You Cooking Show segment is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. And welcome back. And of course, I am here in the Grace and You Kitchen where we are about to make a delicious breakfast. With a little bit of a kick joining me is Lewis and Chris. And of course, Lewis, uh, you're here representing Grace. Yes, I'm the new assistant brand coordinator. Okay. And I also brought Chris with me today. Mm -hmm. He's and a bartender at Club Elite. All right. So <laughs> this is reversal of hours for you, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. And I know that we're making something extra special. Actually, a lot of Belizeans have this on their breakfast menu at times, That's right? That's true. Yes. So what's, what, what are we making? Okay. I will be making a chocolate coffee donut, mm -hmm. and then Chris will do an iced coffee, not frozen coffee, okay. just iced coffee. Mm -hmm. Then he will be showing us two uh, cocktails he designed with the shandy, ginger shandy and lime shandy. Yummy. Now, All right. um, first, let me work on the donuts. Okay. We need, this is a cup of flour. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, about three quarters cup of sugar, mm -hmm. depending how sweet you want it. This is our Grace Instant Chocolate, okay. as you can see right here. It's this um, just a tablespoon. So there's a sweetened, um, so um, is there also an unsweetened? No, the okay. unsweetened that we provide is the Roma Coco. Okay. You know, people usually use them in their cake. And this is the one you just make your hot chocolate with? Yes. Excellent. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's just mix up this. Mm -hmm. Get everything nicely distributed. Chocolate donuts. Yes. That sounds like quite a treat. Yep. And a little bit of coffee. And we do this because right now um, we have a lot of sampling in stores. Mm -hmm. And um, what we try to do is we're trying to be more creative with what we're offering the people to sample. Okay. Like one of the reasons we're doing the iced coffee is because um, a lot of people say that, you know, the days are hot and we do coffee sampling. You know, we try to promote. The Grace yeah. Colombian coffee, and um, what happens is people just say the day's too hot. Yeah. So we're trying to encourage them to, you know. So if you still want your it. coffee, just throw in some ice cubes and and flavor it differently. Yes, I, be good. I just put a half cup of evaporated, evaporated milk, milk, and now let's add an egg. Let's mix it up. Mm. And I love that we're using the donut machine because it's actually healthier. It's not like frying. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Well. Uh, this can also be done in the donut pans yeah. in your oven. Um, this mm -hmm. machine takes about three, mi three minutes, but um, okay. if you do it in your oven, it will take about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Chris, um, could you get me some hot water, please? Let's add the coffee. Because right, this is a chocolate coffee. Yes, we cannot forget right, the coffee. I'll move away from the hot water. Just put a little bit in there for me, please. That's fine, that's fine. And it's instant coffee, so once you put that yes. in there, it'll dissolve immediately. And I'm just using the water because we want to melt the coffee yeah. so you know, it can get properly distributed into the butter. There we go. Is it however strong you want it? Uh, a tablespoon is fine for this recipe. This coffee is, is very strong. It's really good. Coffee addicts like so. me will say, put more, put more. Yes, it gives you a <laughs> kick in the morning. <laughs> how else can there. I be so energetic in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> I always wonder how. All right, let's mm. mix that up. So who came up with this recipe? Um, I actually me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I always say I want to be in uh, Grace's testing oh, well, <laughs> recipe. I was doing room. this in the office this week. Uh-huh. And... Um, all my co-workers, you know, the team at Grace, they loved yeah. it. I had to do it about three times. So you got the stamp of approval. Yes. All right. So now we're going to try to get coffee machines for all our merchandisers, the entire <laughs> team out there. Um, let's see. Now we add four tablespoons of oil. Mm -hmm. and, and so is the creative process done together? Like you, you first you do clean, and then somebody says add coffee, and then somebody says Actually, add chocolate. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, Ms. Trudy, she's mm -hmm. always on the show. Mm -hmm. um, she recommended that I try it with the coffee. Mm -hmm. And then we also did it with the yeast. You can substitute the coffee and the chocolate with the yeast and you get a nice mm. flavored donut. All right. Okay. What yeast would you choose? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it with the with the black blackberry. Oh, the blackberry? Yes. But I'm sure the strawberry or any Kids other flavor would be nice. They do. People love strawberry. Yeah. So let's just get the oil mixed in. 
Mm -hmm. Pop the machine open. So your oh. machine is hot. It's very hot. Be careful. Yeah, that's why I leave you to do it. <laughs> this is the idea, yeah. right? The woman is in the kitchen watching the men cook for her. It's a change, eh? <laughs> it's every woman is right. Ah. <laughs> right. Some of us are lucky enough to get that. Oh, forgot one of the main ingredients. We need ore. Grace baking powder. Mm -hmm. One sachet is good for one pound of flour. Yeah, and that's so the best part with the baking powder. Yeah, you just have it's enough just one right there. There, see, I almost forgot them. Didn't mm -hmm. need to measure anything, just yeah. mix it right in. All right. So you're going to finish mixing that and put yes. that in here to cook. So we're yes. going to start over here with or drinks. Yes, this will be with iced coffee. Uh -huh. Like like Louis said, this will be like mostly for the summer, you know. Okay. So you don't have time to drink hot coffee in the uh -huh. summer, hot days, right? So let me show you. Mm -hmm. Can I have some sure. coffee? coffee? Yes. So this what are we starting off with? We're going to put the coffee in, right? Mm -hmm. The same freeze-dry coffee. Mm -hmm. Maybe one tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, that depends on how strong you want to make it. Can we put yeah. this up here so people can see with the camera? Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, then we get some water. We got the hot water. Yeah. Now, we got to talk about this, right? Why do you have brown <laughs> ice cubes? Before okay, people um, think that we're doing something <laughs> not hygienic. Well, we can use the regular typical, typical ice. ice, but that would be boring, right? Yeah. So what we did, we, we, we made some coffee. Uh-huh. We put it overnight, well, I guess. Froze it? Yeah, so that way mm, you don't nice. dilute the coffee, right? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want that water. Good yeah, job, water yeah. Down. Ice coffee. When you yeah, buy yeah. iced coffee, you put in ice chips, the water, uh, the ice melts, and then you get water down. It starts coffee. tasting, you know. That yeah. was really smart. You know what this is good for? I, I really wanted to point it out because I also do this because uh, <laughs> I make too much coffee most of the time. And uh, you don't want to throw it away because it's good coffee, but if you put it in an ice tray, you freeze it, you have frozen ice cubes for your iced coffee. Okay. Nice. We just want to get that coffee in there. Get the coffee mm -hmm. melted. Mm -hmm. Did you add sugar, Chris? No. Just add the sugar ready. So your donuts are cooking? Yes, they're cooking now. Mm. How long does this typically take to work? Just about three minutes. Okay. That's why I love this little machine. <laughs> then we add the Gloria milk. Mm -hmm. It's not open. Fresh Gloria milk. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then you add your ice cubes, right? Your coffee ice cubes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about watered down coffee anymore. Nope. We got rid of that. <laughs> You'll have a kick to the very end. You, you know, at this point, you can add ice cream, you can add whipped cream, you know, whatever. Yeah. You can add chocolate, mm. and that or you can drink it just like that. We chose gonna, the chocolate. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of chocolate. Ooh. With a nice touch. Never go wrong with whipped cream. Here you go, breakfast. There you have it. There you go. <laughs> coffee. Ice coffee, as easy as Ooh. that. You know, you could also do that, add a little bit of vanilla. Yes. Mm. Chocolate syrup. There's, there's a lot of ways you design it. Yeah. But, uh, okay, so let's move into our next drink. Okay, I know let's Louis is working on getting those uh donuts out. And okay, I'm the, really the ready to start one of the them. reasons why we came up with the the, mm -hmm. the lime shandy cocktail was okay, is the overheard conversations. Yes. They, they say that uh, the shandy car is uh -huh. probably weak, a little weak, right? Uh -huh. So, we want to put the kick into in, it, yeah, yeah. So, let me show you how to do that. So shandy is obviously, uh, it's like a flavored alcoholic beverage. It's yeah. flavored beer. Okay, it's flavored beer. Yes, and what did you say it was, Chris? It's about three quarters beer and... Three quarters of a beer and lime juice, basically. Okay. So for somebody who doesn't drink a lot, it's perfect. It's perfect, yeah. 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 But we've got a lot of comments Complain, lately that yeah. um, they want a little bit more of a kick. Oh, so, okay. So um, that's where Chris comes in. Okay, so Chris <laughs> is going to give your shandy a kick. <laughs> Yeah. And this is going to be a frozen drink, obviously, because uh, you're there tackling ice or iced. 
Well, we're going to do one half frozen, I would say. Okay. Just so. Let's do some more. All right. Let's take this one out. All right. Okay. That. Then we have. You now could, what's this? It's whatever you desire. You could use white rum and gold rum, right? Mm hmm. I put one part of that, that's cool rum, half part of grenadine, mm. and uh, this is a liqueur, this is a banana liqueur, right? Okay. Just for the, give it that extra taste. You blend this up. You don't want it too frozen, right? Oh, okay, so you just broke up the ice. Yeah, that's basically what we're doing right there. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, you have the lime. And, of course, he's wearing a carib yes, of course. <laughs> strap. <laughs> <laughs> and you top it up with the lime shandy. Second batch going. It's almost done. Yeah. There we go. That's okay. It. That's the lime shandy cocktail. So this is this is your coffee for the morning, and this is your little pick me up lunch. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for With those celebrating Fourth of July. Today. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that's the lime. Mm -hmm. So that's for the people who was asking for that little extra kick. And we have a third one, right? Yes. This will be the ginger ale. Mm. What are we going to do to the ginger ale, Shandy? The ginger ale, basically, we're just going to add ice. Okay. okay. And those donuts smell Then delicious. remember, you could use white rum or gold rum, okay. which, whatever you choose, right? Gold rum. And this, this is amaretto, oh. right? Almond liqueur. You know, goes I love perfectly. Hammer. Almond goes perfectly goes well with the ginger ale. With, with ginger? Yeah. yeah. That spicy taste. And then ginger ale to top it off. Nice. So you've been getting a lot of combos for uh, your shandy so far? Uh, not many. Okay, so this, this is just to introduce some yes. of the... Nice. Give it that nice kick. All right. There All you right. go. So there you had it. We made two cocktails out of the shandy. So instead of using juices, you use the flavored beers, yes. if you know what it is. And we had right. our iced coffee drinks, and Lewis has prepared a platter of mini donuts for us. Yes. Now, donuts usually, um, we don't usually eat them plain, do we? No, we don't. Mm -hmm. And let me just dust it for you. Yeah. Let yeah, me make them look all pretty. There you go. Yeah, there you, there you go. And I'm sorry, we can't share through television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't love donuts, man? All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for making these recipes. I think the donuts recipe is so easy. And mixing up the shandy for those who I think that they need a bit more of a kick. And, of course, your iced coffee for your hot days. That's right. And like I said, the donuts and the coffee, we will be trying to use it in our sampling. We usually have a sampling, about five or six of them every month. Okay. Uh, roughly one in each district. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we're just trying to... Be more creative, offer the customers a so variety. So when, when you see the gray steam set up, you can say, where's yes. my donuts? Yes, you can say, where's there your donuts you and where's your coffee? <laughs> Ice coffee. All right. Well, thank you once again for joining us, guys. No We're going to go ahead and go to a break. And when we come back, I'll join William downstairs for a wrap-up. So stay tuned. Grace and You Cooking Show segment was brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. 
desde Colombia y de la compañía que produjo Café Buen Día, presentamos Gris 100% Puro Café Colombiano, elaborado en una de las mejores regiones cafetaleras del mundo. Gris 100% Puro Café Colombiano es liofilizado para mantener y preservar el delicado sabor y aroma del puro café colombiano. Gris 100% Puro Café Colombiano. La combinación perfecta para la taza de café que solo tú mereces. Buenos días con Grace. 100% puro café colombiano. Para recetas visita GraceRecetas.com Es el momento para Grace. 